In this tutorial, we're looking at adding stereo width. There are various ways we can add and enhance stereo width, and creating stereo width from mono sources is particularly useful when you're mixing to stereo. Sidewidener from Boz Digital Labs and Joey Sturgis Tones is a great tool for this purpose, and although visually simple, can create some fabulous sounding effects. It includes three progressively wider modes, a tone control to help focus the widening, and a handy goniometer display. First, let's try the effect on our guitar riff audio. This sort of sound usually works very well with width enhancement, and with mode 1 selected, simply increasing the width to its maximum sounds great. We can also adjust the tone control, though the effect is actually quite subtle. If we now try more extreme settings, will it improve the sound? In mode 3 the sound starts to become a bit metallic, and the result is not great. However, in mode 2 we've got a great sound with width at about 80. The tone control, which is set to about 30, also brings some low mid frequency focus. And of course, because of the way this effect is designed, the guitar still sounds great in mono. Now let's try a percussive sound. Here we've loaded up our sampled snare, beat snare, which is a solid sound but quite narrow. Once again, mode 3 is too loose and adds a flam. But mode 1 is ideal, and with the tone set to max, and width on about 75, our snare sounds much bigger. 